artificial intelligence and machine learning in China. What I'm seeing is that China is really pushing AI and machine learning very hard from a national level where they have a very ambitious AI and machine learning strategy to what companies are actually doing on the ground. When I work with clients here in, the, in Europe and the US, we often, I often help them understand what is going on in China. So I thought I'd give you a little rundown. Some of the big companies, big names are Alibaba, Baidu and Tencent, often abbreviated to BAT. But we also have a company called ByteDance. Lots of companies, not lots of people have never heard of it, but it's actually now the most valuable startup in the world, currently valued at over $75 billion. So ByteDance is a company that um, is a news aggregator, so they use AI and machine learning to aggregate news from lots of different sites and then deliver customized news to you. But they also own the hugely popular site uh, um, TikTok, which was which basically bought Musical.ly. So there's this music app where you can make 15 second, second music videos, which is hugely popular uh, among young people. And then we have the, the big boys, we have Alibaba, which again is such a powerful company. If you look at what, what companies like eBay and Amazon are doing in the West, Alibaba is doing this together and actually their volume in e-commerce sales exceeds both eBay and Amazon put together. And they have huge abilities to not only use AI to understand what customers want, but also to automate their processes. So lots of automation around their warehousing, automation around delivery. Um, another e-tailer that I've done, I've written about recently is JD.com. They, sometimes we hear about Amazon saying, oh, wouldn't it be cool if they could use drones to deliver parcels to us? JD.com has been using drones now for the last four years, clogging up many, many miles of flights. And they also use autonomous vehicles to deliver some of their their, their goods. And then we have companies like Tencent. They are basically a social network company, now in, in a really big AI giant, but they started off as a, as a social company, a bit like their, their Facebook. Um, they've developed this massively popular site called WeChat. Uh, they have about a billion monthly active users on that, and this is growing rapidly. Um, and again, what this allows them to do is to leverage data. You can use WeChat to even pay for goods and they get huge user insights and they apply AI to everything they now do. Um, another company is called Baidu. They are basically the Google of China, so their most popular search engine. Again, if you look at what Google is doing in the US and across Europe, this is what Baidu is doing in China, but very successfully using AI across everything they do. And then we've got companies like Didi. Um, they are a ride-sharing company like Uber. Uber basically tried to get into China. They were squeezed out by Didi, who became more successful. And again, they are now doing, using AI to optimize their, their processes and they even uh, starting to use autonomous vehicles and they use face recognition in their vehicles to really drive performance. So lots of really exciting stuff happening in China. I've recently written a series of Forbes articles on all of those which you can find on my website at bernardmar.com or have a look at my YouTube channel where you can find a lot more on all of those.